Today we're back in Delta BC with Mint Tiny House Company checking out their 41 foot gooseneck floor plan which features a main floor bedroom. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Like I said before, today we're looking at a 41 foot gooseneck floor plan featuring a main floor bedroom. But before we get into the inside of this home, I wanna take you guys outside, highlight a couple key features, so let's check them out. The home is built on a tri-axle gooseneck trailer, as you can see here by the front. And an important thing to highlight about this gooseneck trailer is that it's actually built a little bit lower than a standard gooseneck. What that means is this is gonna have to be towed with a flat deck truck. Because of that height difference, if you were to tow it with a truck with bedsides, on your first corner, you're gonna be taking out the bedside of that truck with the corner of the home. That being said, Mint does deliver these homes, so if you're not set up to tow something like this, they've got you covered. You do have two plugins located at the base of the front door. These are here for those of you who are gonna be building a deck out front of the home. That way you can plug in deck lights or anything else you might need a power source for. As we come to the passenger side of the front of the home, here they've included a little storage bay. Inside of here they have it nicely finished and they have plugs included as well. Now this tiny home was built without holding tanks, but in the event that you wanted a freshwater tank, this is where that fresh water tank would go. As we come around to the front, just underneath the gooseneck portion of the trailer, you're gonna find a spot for two propane bottles and you're gonna have the heat pump, which is what is used for your mini split heating and cooling inside of the home. As we come around to the back side of the home, below here, you're gonna have access to the internals of your Truma hot water on demand unit. Next to it, you'll find your fresh water connection and two more exterior plugs. Next to the wheel well down here are gonna be your sewer outlet connections. Once again, this home was not built with holding tanks, so all of your wastewater is designed to be flushed out directly into a septic or sanitary station. That being said, if you're looking to have holding tanks built on board, mint time homes can do that for you. Finally, at the back corner of the home here, you're gonna have your exhaust for your furnace, your shore power connection, and your cable hookups. The exterior construction of these homes closely resembles hardy board, but is actually what's called LP smart siding. The difference between the two is hardy board is built with a concrete based construction. The downside of that is that it's heavier and it doesn't expand and contract well. LP smart siding is a wood fiber board. The benefit of that is these boards are gonna expand and contract way better, especially if you're in a climate where you see both low temperatures and high temperatures. In addition to that, it's also much lighter than hardy board. All of the windows on this home are dual pane as well, and if I'm not mistaken, it looks like they all open as well. So if you're in a warmer climate and you don't feel like turning on the air conditioning, you can open up all of these windows and let in a nice cool breeze. Finally, at the very top of the home, you're gonna see the roof, which is built from a metal Duraclad. I think it's time we took a look at the inside. When you first walk inside, you step past this really cool front door. It's got a dual pane window from top to bottom, which helps bring in lots of natural light into the kitchen area. Side note, for a lot of you, I know you don't like having a full glass window pane for your front door. And so there's a couple things you can do about that. One is that you can put in a blind so you can completely shut off that visibility. And number two, you can just change your door. Once you're past that front door, you enter directly into this kitchen space, which I think they've laid out perfectly. The kitchen features a U-shaped design, giving you plenty of counter space for prep and for eating, and does a great job of utilizing the space in the back of the home wisely. Against the back wall, you're gonna find a Frigidaire fridge and freezer off to the left-hand side. Above that, you do have overhead cabinetry all along the back wall. Something I especially like is they've implemented a little bit of exposed shelving here for those quick access items. For cooking appliances, you have a Furion gas stovetop, you also have a Furion gas oven, and a Furion overhead range. For the kitchen sink, they've installed this huge white ceramic apron front sink, which is accented really well with the chrome faucet. Like most of the Mint Tiny House builds, they did include that window above the sink, which I really love. If you're busy in the kitchen and you don't have anywhere to look except at a wall, somebody did something wrong. So I'm a huge advocate for that window above the sink. Along the wall space just above the kitchen counter, you're gonna notice plugs every few feet. So if you've got your coffee maker, your blender, and anything else that needs power, you've got plenty of it here. Below the countertop, you have plenty of storage as well. With drawers that slide all the way out, they have a ton of depth to them. And one of my favorite parts is they're all soft clothes. This isn't something everyone chooses to install in their tiny homes, but it's something Mint does, and I love it. If I had to choose one part about this kitchen that 
I love the most, it's probably this mini wine rack. This is obviously a space that can be customized to your choosing. If you're not into having a wine rack, I'm sure this can be converted into some other kind of storage, but I like my wine and I love that I can store it here. Another really great design aspect of this home is these really cool rustic hanging lights. I wouldn't say they're necessary in terms of lighting, but you've got three of them overhead and it makes the aesthetic of this home way nicer. On the far side of the counter and actually where I'm sitting is where you're gonna find your formal dining area. Now I'd say you have enough room for two, maybe three people here, but in my opinion, there's plenty of space behind me in the living room. So if you had a couple extra guests, you can seat them in there and you can all eat together. Now just past the kitchen and behind me where I'm sitting is gonna be the living room. Mint has had this home professionally staged, so it's really nice to be able to get a glimpse of what this home can look like once you purchase it. To the left here, they've put in this really comfy couch, and just above it, again, you get a massive window that opens and brings in a ton of that natural light. Just across from the couch is an area where you can customize to a certain degree. They've put in this cool little bar cart and you can put books and different items on top. But if this were my home, I would put a TV on this wall. And as you can see on the wall, they have included the cable and the 110 plugs so you can do so. One thing I will mention about these homes is that pretty much every space you see on the wall is a place where you could potentially mount more storage space. I know for most people in a tiny home, storage is a premium. And so the nice thing about these builds is that each of these walls are a structural component to the home Therefore, you can add extra cabinetry or you can add extra shelving if you find this isn't quite enough. So keep that in mind. But in the living room here, I would certainly mount my TV on the wall and maybe some surrounding shelves for books and other items. Just past the couch and up on the wall above the plant here is your mini split heating and cooling system. Many of you are familiar with what this does, but if you're not, this unit is gonna be responsible for both your heating and your cooling inside the home. Now that we're on the topic of heating and cooling, there are a couple other sources in this home. If you look around on the walls, you're gonna find there is an electric heat source, and in the floors, you're gonna notice there are heat registers for the forced air furnace that also provides heat into the home. There's a reason they offer a few different options here, and I'll go through them with you. The mini split system doesn't operate well below 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you find yourself in a climate where you're starting to get that cold, you can do a couple things. One would be turn off the mini split system and turn on your electric heating in the walls, or number two would be that forced air furnace that you have installed as well. One thing I will mention about the forced air furnace is that it operates off of propane so you will have to have a propane hookup another thing to keep in mind is that forced air propane gives off a wet heat so if it's really cold outside and you're using that as your heat source you might start to find condensation buildup on the windows. This is where that electric heat in the wall is gonna be the best option for you in a cold climate. Now, obviously over my left shoulder here, you're gonna see a ladder and we all know what that's for. This tiny home does come with a loft. In this loft, you're gonna find a spot for, I think this is a double bed, but you could probably fit a queen bed in here as well. You do also get some storage on either side of the bed as well as plugs and a light switch. And for those of you wondering about the height in here, in my opinion, there's plenty enough room to crawl around and do what you need to do. Keep in mind, this is a bedroom, so you're not doing much up here other than sleeping. So it's probably not that important for you to be standing up here. But either way, I can sit up in bed just fine here and I have plenty of headroom to go about my business and be comfortable hanging out. Back downstairs and just past the living room, you're gonna find the bathroom space, which I think is laid out perfectly. As soon as you enter the bathroom to your left-hand side, you have a vanity, a little bit of storage below it, and a nice big mirror. Just past the vanity, you're gonna have a porcelain toilet, and on the opposite wall, you have this massive tiled shower with glass doors. And yes, this is actual white subway tile. Oftentimes in tiny homes, you're gonna find a one-piece fiberglass shower, which isn't a bad thing, that's a great shower. But this has actual tile with actual actual grout, so it feels just like home. Just next to the shower on the right hand side, they've included a washer and dryer combo. So this unit here is gonna be able to wash and dry your clothes all in one unit. Just above it, they've included a shelf here so you can do all your folding. And then of course above it, they've left plenty of room if you wanna put in a little hanging rod to hang dry clothing. One thing I love about this bathroom is they've packed everything you need into this space, yet it feels like you have tons of space to move around. To give you an idea of head clearance, 
I'm 6'4", and I have plenty of room to move around in here and get everything I need done. Finally, at the very front of the home, and probably the part you've been waiting for, is the main floor bedroom. You enter the bedroom up these three steps, which by the way, all have storage in them. Each step is on a hinge, which will open and give you access to storage below it. Now I did say this is a main floor bedroom, and technically it's not because you do have steps up into that bedroom but the steps are very manageable and you do have a railing on the side as well. So if you're someone who does have a bit of difficulty getting up and down steps, this really is as comfortable as it gets. And after you've made it up those steps, welcome to the master bedroom. This is truly an amazing space. You can see in front of me here, you have a queen size bed and on either side, you have room for a nightstand. And one of the best features of all is the huge windows on each of the walls here. There's nothing I love more than natural light in a tiny home. All of these windows are of course, emergency exit as well. And as you turn around in your bedroom, on either side of the entry and exit of this room, you have closet space. As you can see here, Mint has left this completely free of shelving, so you can really customize this space to what you need. If you want full cabinets on one side and hanging storage on the other, you can do that. And to close off this space, you get a really cool sliding barn door. I love how they design this space, and I love how they've designed each area of the home and given proper proportions to each area of the home. The kitchen has enough space to do all your prep work and eating. The living room has enough space to hang out and enjoy a movie. You have a lot for the kids, the guests, or an office space. The bathroom is in the perfect spot right off the master bedroom. And of course the master bedroom, ooh. All of these homes are also built using certified trades. So not only does it look good, it's also built really well. And it's built to last, which is important when you're spending any kind of money on something like this. So what do you guys think? I'd like to hear from you in the comments. What do you like? What don't you like? Or what would you change? Tell me about it. And if you're someone who's interested in what Mint builds and how they build them and what they can do for you, I've left all of their information in the description below, website, and everything you need to find the answers you're looking for. Mint will have these built and shipped pretty much anywhere across Canada and the United States. So if you're interested in learning more, click the link below. Otherwise, that's all for me today, guys. Once again, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. And I will see you guys in the next video.